The Q&A functionality in Microsoft Teams meetings is a valuable feature that facilitates engaging and interactive discussions between meeting hosts and participants. It allows meeting attendees to submit questions and receive answers during the meeting, fostering a more collaborative and informative environment. Here is how the Q&A functionality works in a Teams meeting. As the meeting organizer or host, you can enable the Q&A feature when scheduling the meeting. To enable Q&A for your meeting, set up your meeting as you usually would. When you have set up and shared the meeting, open the meeting details by going to your calendar in Teams and double-click on the respective meeting. Then click on the three dots and select Meeting Options. The browser with the meeting options opens where you can enable the Q&A. Then click on save and the changes are set. Once the meeting has started, participants will see a new Q&A tab in the meeting window. Meeting participants can submit their questions via the Q&A tab. When asking a question, they can provide a short description to it. It's important to note that questions are typically submitted and viewed by all participants, promoting transparency and avoiding duplicates. As the meeting host, you have the option to moderate the questions before they become visible to all participants. This allows you to filter and prioritize the questions to maintain relevance and address them in a specific order. You can approve, dismiss or hide questions as needed. To activate this function, click on the Q&A tab and on Settings. Then select Moderate Questions and save your change. Now you can moderate the questions coming in during your meeting. As the host or any assigned presenter in the meeting, you can address the questions submitted by participants. When answering a question, you can respond in text format or verbally during the meeting. The answered question will be visible to all participants to ensure everyone benefits from the discussion. Attendees have the ability to upvote questions they find particularly important or relevant. This feature helps the host and presenters identify which questions are most popular and should be prioritized for answering. After the meeting concludes, the Q&A tab content, including all submitted questions and their respective answers, is saved. The meeting organizer and presenters can review the Q&A log later and it can be shared with participants as a follow-up or reference. That's all for now. Thanks a lot for listening and check out this great feature. Giving shape to ideas. Konica Minolta.